preaching time. Acts, the fifth chapter. Now, don't you get quiet on me now, because I see it, yeah, amen. Well, I don't care who tell it, am I right about it? You can be black, white, or don't make no difference what color you are, what nationality. Amen, hallelujah. <laughs> Give God the glory today now, hallelujah. On the Acts, the fifth chapter and the twenty-ninth verse, we're gonna try that. Is that all right with you? Amen. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, "We ought to obey God rather than man. The God our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted." with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that obey him. Mm -hmm. I want to share with you uh, Daniel, amen, the third ch chapter, 17 verse and 18 verse. We're going to try to preach to you today. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fire furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, <laughs> be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up with God out of blessing to the reading of his word. I'd rather obey God than man. But if not, but if not, if you don't go my way, am I going to give up? <laughs> what if it don't go your way, uh, preacher? You're going to keep on pressing. Amen. You're not going to give up, boy. You're going to press on. Soldier, press on. Y'all going to pray with me this morning, right? Amen. But if not, I would like to share with you today about these Hebrew boys. I have discovered in this life, amen, and on this journey, amen, that Calamities will come in your life and you will have some dry seasons, amen, some, some stormy seasons, you will have some rainy seasons, amen. I discovered that the way we respond to our downtime, the way we respond to our midnights, amen, determine our Christian growth, determine our character in the Lord. Determine whether we, what we say we are, or uh, whether we fall by the wayside. Yeah. Or whether we stand in the midst of the storm, or whether we crumble. Amen. Well. Christians grow. The way we act, amen, in trouble time give us a good clue. It's a good clue, amen, how we've been spending time with Jesus. I discovered that God always answers prayer. He always answers prayer. Sometimes God would say yes, and sometimes God will say no. But God always answers prayer. I'm so glad, amen, that some of the prayers that I prayed, God didn't answer them. <laughs> when I look back over my life, amen, and, uh, and, this, uh, and reminisce about some of the things that I asked the Lord for, I am so glad that he did not answer those prayers. I wish I had her, but uh, thank you, Lord. I wish I had him, but thank 
you, Jesus. You didn't let it happen. Somewhere down the road, amen, you were glad. Amen. You were glad that God didn't answer that prayer, right? Amen. <laughs> God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Thank you, Lord. But he do, does answer prayer. He say yes, and he say no. But at the same time, we as Christians' children must learn how to trust in the Lord. Because in this life, you're going to have some challenging situations. You're going to have some challenging days. You're going to have some moments, amen, when the devil is going to test you to see of you what you say you go going on. But, amen, you will see, you, 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 you will discover that, amen, these trumps sometimes be, it's just like giants. They keep coming and they will keep coming. They never disappear. Honey, sugar, you just keep on living if you haven't had any trouble sometimes. Just keep on living. But you got to learn how to trust in the Lord. God has to have a way of showing us how to trust in Him. God has a way of putting us, letting us, turning up the thermostat, turning up the heat on us so they see where we are, who we say we are. God got a way of chastising His children. Amen. God got a way of making you who He wants you to be. Amen. I, I just want to ask the questions. Amen. We want to live. Why do we want to live free of sickness, free of, of pain? We want to live free, amen, from the cares of this word, world. Amen. But, but what if God don't answer your prayer? What if the Lord don't answer you when you call him? Are you going to give up on the Lord? Or are you gonna, amen? Or are you gonna keep pressing on? Or are you gonna keep going forward? Yes, yes. Amen. What will be your response if, amen, it don't happen the way, amen, you want it to happen? All right. <laughs> How will you respond? We want to be secure. We want to be prosperous. But what if not? What if God don't answer? We want to be successful in our relationship with the Lord. We want to be successful on our job, in our business. But what if God, what if God, amen, don't answer your prayer? Amen. The way you think he ought to answer your prayer. Amen. We want to live and have joy, amen. We want to have victory in our life. Amen. But what if God, amen, don't give you the victory? Yeah. We want the God to expand. But what if God don't answer? Yeah. How are you going to act? How are you going to respond in that situation? We want to be prosperous and good health. Amen. Amen. But we got to learn how to trust in the Lord. My brother and sister, you got to learn how to put your faith not in man, but in the Lord. I'd rather serve God than serve man. Amen. I learned that weeping. Yeah. All right, all right. I learned that weeping. Yeah. Mm. Right, now, right. Yeah. Mm. I learned that weeping may. Hallelujah. Y'all gonna help me this morning, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, this morning, Lord is Amen. God is is is, is in the house. Amen. And you want to work it out for you, but you got to let him work it out. Yeah. Weeping, amen, may do for a night, amen. Yes, Help me worship the Lord in here today, my brother and my sister. You got to learn that weeping may do for a night, but you, amen, you got to learn that some midnight experience, and as long as you are living, you're going to have some midnight experience. But, 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 but hang on in there, my brother, my sister, because morning is coming. Hallelujah. Weeping and do it for a night, but morning is coming. If you can, if you got enough energy, you got enough heart to hang on in there, morning is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. You haven't had it midnight. Just keep on living. 
Amen, amen, baby. Just keep on living. You're going to have some midnight, but there is joy. There is joy. Somebody here need a hug right now. You're going to hug somebody. Somebody need a hug. Got a hug. They got no joy in your heart. So hug. Somebody need a hug right now. Hallelujah. But God is a good God. He's a good, good God. Morning is coming. Just hold on, my brothers and sisters. Just a little while longer and everything. And everything going to be all right. God is getting ready to do something, hallelujah, in your life. Amen. Morning is coming. Just wait just a little while longer. Hallelujah. The text here in Daniel, amen, that we read, focus on the three things, the permissive will of God, power of God, and the acceptance of his will. The king of Babylon captured all the regent of Judah, carried away most of the craftsmen, the skilled craftsmen, amen, and the scholars, and began a three-year program trying to change, amen, to teach the, 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 the Hebrew boys the, uh, their Chaldean customs. Among them, hallelujah, uh, were four boys. Daniel, this is here. You do know the story, don't you? You know the story, don't you? Hallelujah. There were four boys, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. If you want to preach a sermon, uh, preach, you just preach Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. It's going all right. These boys were praying boys. Isn't it all right? They prayed regularly because they found they discovered that God answered prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is so good. Anybody here ever been sick and prayed? You ever been sick and prayed to the Lord? Hallelujah. Prayer changes things. Amen. Amen. You ever had a little wayward child? A child just didn't want to act right. Amen. And you prayed for that child. Amen. Hallelujah. Child, you didn't know what to do, but you, you prayed. Amen. You didn't know which way to go. You didn't know which way to turn, but you prayed for Amen. the child. Amen. It's going all right today. Amen. Prayer changed things. Amen. Anybody here ever been, been out of shape? You ever been, been out of shape? You ever been without a job? And, 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 you, and you prayed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. You prayed to the Lord. Somehow, somehow, some way, God brought you out. Yeah. Can I get some witnesses in the house? Yeah. Amen. Somehow, some way, God brought you out. Yeah. Prayer will change you. I came to pray on out. Amen. You, 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 you don't have to be in church to pray. <laughs> You don't have to be in church to pray. Hallelujah. You can be in a strange land and call on the name of the Lord. You don't have to be sitting in the choir stand to ask a prayer. Hallelujah. Not only that, but you don't have to practice a prayer. You don't have to practice. Some of these prayers sound like they practice sometimes. But you don't have to practice a prayer. You can just open your mouth. Amen. You open your mouth and the Lord will give you what to say. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. You That's can just right. open your mouth. Open your mouth. Yeah. And God will give you what to say. Yeah. Amen. I need some help here, y'all. God will help me with this thing. Go ahead. Just open your mouth up. Amen. Yeah. Well, yeah. God will give you what to say. Yeah. Somebody said, if I can't say a word, if I can pray it out, you wave. wave. Yeah. My hand. How many of you have to wave your yeah. hand sometimes? Yeah. You don't know what to pray for. Yeah. Amen. Hey there's times that I could. I need to wave my hand because that time I didn't know what to say. Time I didn't know what to do. And there was times, hey amen, I didn't have a word. 
word to say. Amen. Didn't feel like praying. Amen. But I just waved Amen. my hand. Amen. Hallelujah. And when I waved my hand, somehow God shifted Amen. the atmosphere.
when you fall in trials and tribulation. Count it all joy. Yeah. I come to tell you, baby, you got to have some joy in your trouble, in your troubling situation. Yes. Amen. You got to learn how to have joy in your situation, in your pain, and in your sorrow. Yeah. Just keep on shouting when trouble comes your way. Just keep on letting the devil know you still got joy. Yeah. In my situation, I still got joy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Just keep on lifting your hands, my brothers and sisters. Amen. When you're in your storm or in whatever situation you might be. Seem like, amen, seem like you're back against the wall. Yeah. I guarantee you, if you praise, yeah. praise, amen, will bring you out. Yeah. If you learn how to praise, amen, praise, We'll bring you out. Amen. You might, you, you might have a Red Sea experience. Yeah. Amen. You, amen. You, amen. The devil is on the left. The devil is on the right. The, the devil is, amen, is in front of you and behind you. Amen. But you always can look up. Yeah. You always can look to the hills from which cometh your help. Yeah. Oh, man. You always can lift up the Savior. Amen. God is so good. Amen. They were waiting on the outside. That the officer and all the other men were waiting on the outside. They were waiting for these boys. Amen. They were getting ready to scream. <laughs> they were getting ready to shout. Hallelujah. They thought they were going to see some smoke on the boys. Hallelujah, they thought they would see smoke. But when they came out, hallelujah, they looked better than they did when they went in. Ain't God all right. Hallelujah, how the you, 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 when you, when you go to the, get to the bar to get your weave, amen. Amen. When you come out, you look better than you did when you came out. Then you went, you, ain't God all right. Yeah, hey. I mean,
He's my shelter. Hallelujah. 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 H